for our next example, we're going to look at this example here. <clears throat> when you expand these pair of brackets, where you have a single bracket x plus 6 and x minus 3, you have a certain way of, of writing and getting the results as an expanded. If you look at this process, what you're essentially doing is the middle term is the sum of the two numbers, so it's 6 minus 3, which gives you 3, and the last term, this minus 18, is the multiplication of these two numbers. So um, we're going to create a program where you will enter that 6 as number 1 and that as number 2, and it will output that as an out as um, um, an output statement. Now this x raised to 2, we're going to use a little hat um, notation, which I'll show you just for the sake of um, the console. So let's see how we would actually code it. So let's bring us back to our window here and let's just discuss. So we have, we'll take the simple example we have here. We have x plus 6, x minus 3. So if we're trying to turn that into a program where basically 6 and 3 are your input, we want to have the output as that. Okay, This middle term is the sum and this last term is the product of the two numbers coming in. So it's a good way of testing a combination of different things to get your output. So let's try to turn that into code and then we can experiment with changing these input values 6 and 3 and testing them against different options that you have. Um, okay so let's go back to Paizo and let's create a function called remove brackets. Remove brackets. Okay open close bra uh, bracket here colon. So we've said that we want two inputs, number one. So we say number one is going to be, and is it going to be a whole number? Let's go back to our original problem. We're going to only deal with whole numbers here, okay? And whole numbers throughout here. We're not going to deal with um, fractions. So we're going to have integers. So we type in int, open, close bracket. Inside the int bracket, you put input, open, close bracket. In there you say, uh, number one okay then you're going to repeat that and have it for your second number so that's where you would enter your six and this is change that to number two and change the prompts to number two okay so there's your input line now what's the process the process there are two steps one is the sum of those two numbers which will give you as um, we go back to the original example. One is the sum, which is the middle number there, and one is the um, product, the multiplication. So let's create two variables, a sum which is simply going to add them together. So number one plus number two, that will give us our middle number. Another variable to be assigned the product of both of those. So what we're seeing is here is opening brackets for quadratic equations. And this is essentially a very, very simple way of seeing that this mathematical process can be made general and uh, expanded. Remember, there's no number in front here. We're not doing this second example. This has a number three in front. And we can come to that in a second as an extension exercise for you. So now I've got those, I now need to output it. So let's have a look how we would output it. Um, let's say that we have the result okay and what i'm going to do this time as opposed to before is i'm going to try to build up the string and then output it in a print statement okay so the first part of the string is going to be simply x squared okay so um and in this what i also perhaps want to do is well we'll worry about that in a minute okay so let's get a string and let's say x and let's use this top hat wherever it is x squared okay let's put a space in there then the next step is going to be whatever the sum is times x right so we want a plus sign inside there this is where it gets interesting plus side outside 
and then here we want the sum okay and we want to plus it with the value x watch how I'm building up this string okay so that's the middle term and the last term is the product just the product okay so we want a space here otherwise it'll all squash up and we want a plus sign here um, actually it's interesting do we want a plus sign we won't for the time being do that we'll keep a plus sign in here and you can play with this and here we put the product okay so what we're saying is the output should say x squared plus the sum times the product plus the product okay um, and th writing it out like that helps us see that all I need to do in the print statement is just print the result so let's see if that works that's the very first thing to do it might not work we might have made a simple mistake and this is very important for you to learn never to think you've got to be perfect in your first time you always try stuff out and see if it works we run it as script it hasn't got any obvious errors let's grab the function open close bracket and let's put the values in so the first value is plus six which is just a six and the second value is a minus three. Oh, I didn't like that cannot concatenate string and int objects so what we have is a problem here and this is a very very important problem that um, these are integers and this can only deal with a string so all of our integers have to be converted to strings for us to work so that's what this error means concatenate we cannot can mix basically can't mix strings and ints in this same line this result line very useful message so that number sum down here um, needs to be converted to a string so we put str bracket wrap that round with that so that converts that back into a string and we do that for product okay so now all the numbers in there have been converted to string so we are just gluing long pieces of string right click run file a script no obvious problem let's do remove brackets again and see what we get oops I've mistyped it let's try that again um, right so number one we said was six and number two was minus three have a look at that x squared plus 3x minus 18 x squared plus 3x minus 18 so now you've discovered I hope that removing brackets and very simple equations um, is a very very powerful um, and automatic general process and you can convert it into code I would experiment with this and have a look at different values test it out what happens if we run it Here's a very interesting one to do. Um, we'll do one last one. Let's say that your first number is one and your second number is one. X squared plus two X R. We are missing, you notice we're missing a plus sign there. So our code isn't quite right. We do want to put a plus sign, but only if this is um, positive. If I put a plus sign in here, right, let's save it and let's just run that version again right so here we go right so we said it was what was it one and one we get x squared plus 2x plus one but if we run it and we put six and minus three we get plus minus here so you know it does write it correctly but actually it puts a plus and a minus together which is the same as a minus so you may want to try to fix that yourselves